and welcome everyone to yet another interesting episode of Environment Primer. My name is Pragya and today we are going to discuss the newly discovered species in 2023 as we were discussing in the previous episode as well. So, we are going to see uh, some of the other amazingly interesting species in our today's episode. So, in this discussion, we will firstly study about the background of our today's topic. Then, we will study about some of the more interesting species that have been newly discovered. And in the end, we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic, recently a saline shrub, saline shrub has been discovered in the run of Kutch region in Gujarat. Kutch region in Gujarat and this is named as Desfontania and what does it say about that yes there are neglected areas which we are neglecting but they carry within themselves a beautiful you know range of flora and fauna and definitely we need to increase our preservation efforts to, towards this newly discovered species as well as to the flora and uh, fauna of these regions as well. So, let us uh, move towards discussing our very first species for today and that is known as a snake like eel, snake like eel. So, the scientists at the Zoological Survey of India have discovered a new species of eel from the Parlour Canal in Odisha's Ganjam district. The new species has been named Pisodonphis Kalinga after the name of the ancient Orisha. And if you will ask me ma'am what is very unique about this newly discovered eel species. So, they exhibit a very unique color pattern, unique color pattern and they also have a pointed teeth, pointed teeth ok. So, they have a, exactly have a snake like appearance and varies in length from 560 millimeters to 7 meters. Okay, the new species is abundantly found in the region during the monsoon season from September to November. And if you will ask me ma'am what is their preferable habitat? So, their preferable habitat is the intertidal, intertidals in the deep sea. Okay, now let us uh, see a pectoral representation of this newly discovered eel. So, as you can see, it exhibits a very unique color pattern. There are numerous dense dark spots which make it distinguishable from other forms of eel and definitely they do have a very pointed teeth. Now, let us discuss the second species which we are going to discuss today and it is a music frog. So, music frog as the name itself suggests that they have a very unique calling pattern and that is how they were discovered. Very unique calling <coughs> pattern and that is how they were discovered by the scientists. So, the scientists have discovered a new species of music frog in Arunachal Pradesh. The speciality of this new species of frog Nidirana Noadhing is that both the male and female are vocal. That means they have a very unique call pattern and they sing to call their mates and that is why the name music frog. Okay, the new species were named after the Noadhing river which is where the specimens were discovered and collected and this Nidirana genus, Nidirana genus is not common in India and has been discovered for the very first time. So, this also makes this discovery very unique. So, their preferred habitat is swamps, ponds and other river streams. And what does this discovery tells us about that? We really need to pay attention to the Flora and fauna found in the marshlands, marsh lands which we often neglect and that is why we need to increase our conservation efforts towards this newly discovered species. Now, let us see a pectoral representation of this music frog. So, this is as you can see a music frog that has recently been discovered. The third species which we are going to discuss today 
is a new species of cascade frog. So researchers have discovered a new species of cascade frog from Arunachal Pradesh and named it after the Adi Hills, the abode of Adi tribes. Okay, so Amelops Adi Kola is the new species discovered by a team of Indian and American biologists from the Wildlife Institute of India, University of Delhi, India and the North Carolina Museum of Natural Science in the United States of America. They are known as cascade frogs because they prefer cascades or small waterfalls in the flowing hill streams for their habitat, for which they have developed certain morphological features such as expanded digit tips and extensive food webbing that makes them adapt to strong water currents. So that is why they have been named as cascade frogs because of their habitat preferences. This study is once again testament to how little is known about the most threatened animal groups, frogs in the northeastern India. And that is why I am explaining to you again and again that there are regions within India itself that are highly neglected. But we need to conserve these regions because of their beautiful flora and fauna. And definitely we need to pay more attention to the to the neglected regions, otherwise the flora and fauna in these regions will become extinct. Let us see a pictorial representation of this cascade frog. As you can see, it is a brown color frog and definitely it has distinguishable features from other frogs. The fourth species that we are going to discuss today is Desfontania, which about which I have already talked about in the background of our today's topic. A new plant species from runoff kutch, Salsola opo. Opposite folia, this fontania is discovered by a team of researchers from Gujarat Ecological Education and Research, a Gujarat based institution. So, definitely a question can come in, in your exam about the GEERI as well. Okay, so this is again a very unique discovery, and the discovery has been reported in an annual compendium plant discoveries published by the Botanical Survey of India. So, this is a very unique saline shrub. And the best part about this is it does not have any hair. It does not have any hair. Okay. And the leaves also grow opposite insides from each other. It has a salty juice. Salty. Salty juice. Present in its leaf and that is why. It is known as a saline shrub. It is found in the semi-arid regions, semi-arid regions and arid regions. Okay, and previously only five of such species were discovered in India, but this is very different from those discovered species and definitely this tells a lot about the rich biodiversity of the runoff kutch region which is often neglected and that is why we need more preservation efforts in this regard. So now let us see a pictorial representation of this shrub. So this is a pictorial representation of this shrub. As you can see the leaves grow opposite in direction in the stem and it has salty juice present in the leaves as I have mentioned before. The preferred habitat is saline, semi-arid and arid regions. Now let us discuss the next species for today that is known as a Santa Fe frog. So what is you know very rare kind of frog and what is unique about this frog that at it has a leopard print body. Leopard print body. Okay, which will be more clear when I will show you the pictorial representation of this frog. So, the Argentinian scientists have discovered a rather unusual frog named the Santa Fe frog. It has unique le leopard print as I have mentioned and it is found only in South American countries namely Argentina, Bolivia and Paraguay and that is why it is extremely rare and it is critically endangered and that is why the scientists of the Argentina are trying to preserve this unique kind of frog. So if you see a pictorial representation of this frog definitely it has a unique leopard print body. The next species which we are going to discuss today is the 
Burmese peacock soft shell turtle. So, the Burmese peacock soft shell turtles, also known as Nilsonia formosa, have recently hatched in Myanmar, bringing hope for the survival of this critically endangered species. And these are native to Myanmar are, and are exclusive to these regions. So, throughout this episode, I have told you that yes, we are neglecting the northeast region, we are neglecting the marshlands, and definitely we do not about uh, know a lot about the flora and fauna of this region. So, this uh, but Burmese peacock soft cell turtle is protected under the schedule one of. Wildlife Protection Act. And as I have mentioned that it is critically endangered and we need to increase our conservation efforts for protecting this uh, peacock soft shell turtle, Burmese peacock soft shell turtle because it is highly exploited for its meat. Okay. So, as you can see, it has an olive green body and uh, what happens is when the fishermen go to catch fishes in the rivers, they, these turtles get trapped into the fish nets and that is why they have dis decreased very significantly. They are facing a uh, worse impacts of climate change as well as a habitat loss and that is why they are critically endangered as of now. The next species which we are going today to discuss today is the Barcudia limbless skim. The first ever sighting of the Barcudia limbless king, a small reptile renowned for its unique limbless body and extraordinary adaptation which has long eluded scientific observation has been reported as the Kambala Konda wildlife century. Okay, so what is unique about this uh, species that it is completely limbless, it has absolutely no limbs in its body and that is why it is known as the limbless king and it is also protected under the schedule one of wildlife act schedule one of the wildlife protection so see these kind of unique flora and fauna, India is adding to its database. But we need to accelerate our conservation efforts, otherwise they will soon become extinct in nature. So, this is a pictorial representation of this limbless skin. As you can see, there are absolutely no limbs in its body. The next species which we have to discuss today is the Indian tent turtles. So, the Indian tent turtle is a species of turtle in the family Geomaididae. The species is endemic to India and Bangladesh. Endemic means again it is critically endangered. Okay. And according to the information received from the study of scientists of the Zoological Survey of India, due to illegal sand mining and smuggling in the Narmada River, the Indian tent turtles found in it are on the verge of extinction and that is why I am saying that they are very critically endangered in nature and these are highly protected under the schedule one of the wildlife protection act okay so you can see that most of the newly discovered species are on the verge of extinction okay then another newly discovered species that has actually resurfaced after a gap of 42 years is the Namdafa flying squirrel. Recently, a Namdafa flying squirrel has resurfaced in Arunachal Pradesh after going missing for 42 years. So, this species is also on the verge of extinction and this is also critically endangered. Why? Because it is often confused with the red giant squirrel. But it is very different from the red giant squirrel because it has hairs on its body. It is a rare nocturnal flying squirrel species. So, if the examiner asks you in the exam that uh, do can squirrels fly, you will say yes, even squirrels can fly. It is presently threatened by habitat loss and degradation and mostly due to the fact that it is confused with the red uh, giant squirrel and this is also protected under the schedule one of the Wildlife Protection Act. 
we will be discussing wildlife protection act in detail in our further videos okay the next species which we are going to discuss today is the impatience impatience karupus ami are new plant species from the tamil nadu so researchers from the botanical survey of india have identified a new plant species in the kalakad mundan thurai tiger reserve in the tamil nadu the species has been named after the impatience karupu sami in honor of dr s karupu sami of madhura college because he has added a lot in the biological uh, you know finding out the biological flora and fauna of the tamil nadu region especially in the south india and that is why this species is named after him now let us see some of the unique uh, characteristics exhibited by this species so it is a colonial spur with a horizontally straight obtuse tip base of the anterior lobe with two purplish fleshy and erect auriculate projections stout bistariate purplish blue hairs in the front of the mouth and orange pinking pinkish pollen grains so these are the unique characteristics that are exhibited by this species okay the next species which we are going to discuss today is the walking leaves another very important discovery that has been recently made an international research team has described seven previously unknown species of leaf insects also known as walking leaves they are usually green insects are and are known for their leaf like appearance okay let me show a pectoral representation so that you can understand better so this is a walking leaf like insect that has newly been discovered okay so with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion we have seen some interesting species such as a music frog a cascade frog and we have realized that yes there are certain you know less paid attention uh, areas which we need to pay more attention to to preserve their unique flora and fauna and definitely most of these newly uh, discovered species are on the verge of extinction or they are under critical fear of extinction and definitely they are highly protected under the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act and conservation efforts are being made to protect them if they are discovered in the foreign countries as well the scientists there also want to preserve this newly uh, discovered species now let us see a practice question for your prelims examination so the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is in india the biodiversity management committees are key to the realization of the objectives of the Nag nagoya protocol the biodiversity management committees have important functions in determining access and benefit sharing including the power to levy collection fees on the access of biological resources within it within its jurisdiction which of the following statements given above is are correct your options are option a is one only option b is two only option c is both one and two and option d is none of the above kindly drop your answers in the comment box below i hope this session was insightful for you if you have any feedback regarding this session kindly drop it in the comment box below if you like the today's discussion and found the video to be helpful kindly like the channel and subscribe to uh, it for more such interesting updates thank you